The process that we're looking at in terms of our test work for the Salinas project is DMS, so very simple, um, low cost, uh, easy to implement processing. What that means for the project is that we're going to be able to get it into production sooner than later, hopefully. We're targeting 2025 for construction and 2026 in terms of um, starting to produce concentrate. So the work that we've just done from our MET test work says we can get about 93% recovery um, of our lithium into concentrates of about 5.5%. So that's certainly an outstanding result for us. DMS for us is, is very much a viable option early on in the process. So very simple process to start with. As I said, very low capital cost to, to get these things up and running. Um, they're actually modular units that we're looking at to, to implement on site. Um, so the takeaways are really good first stage recovery from us. 93% is just outstanding to get from pilot plant work. It's unheard of. Um, so to have such good results at such an early stage is really encouraging. We will be doing some more test work over time. Um, and I've currently got some rigs drilling, um, some large diameter core. So we'll do about two tonne of sample um, now that we've refined our DMS process. So we'll run that through over the next few months and that'll give us the feed for um, uh, our DFS. We continually um, uh, are doing more test work to, to refine the process. We started off with HLS work and that gave us very good recoveries. We've now backed that up uh, with DMS work, which is more akin to what we'll be doing in a production environment. Um, so as we look to develop our understanding of, of the Kalina and um, the deposit we have there, um, certainly we use those learnings when we go elsewhere within our project. And, Given that we know we have a very large tenement area, we're continuing to explore uh, within the Salinas project or the wider project. Um, so all of those learnings that we're going through in terms of our geology, our processing, they all give us clues as to what we need to look for um, and, and how we can best um, utilise that information as we go forward into production. At a PEA level, you certainly use assumptions based on um, recoveries and mining costs and things like that. Um, with our PEA, we've actually got a really good understanding of those costs and these, the test work we've just done has really reinforced that, uh, that we can look at simple DMS processing to start with. Um, we may look at things further down the track um, or additions to that DMS, but certainly what it means for us as a starting point um, is low capital costs, low operating costs, and very short time frame. So um, we'll certainly be bringing those assumptions across into the uh, into the PEA, and that's looking at um, being ready for completion and release in September. So we're pretty excited about that. So it's all about, um, it, I, I guess, involving all of those, the data that we have, and then building our understanding as we go from PEA, then through to the full DFS next year, uh, before we start construction in uh, hopefully 2025.